You, 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 I want to pick your brain on something. Uh, do you watch Netflix by any chance? Uh, I'm just beginning to. I don't have a chance to, but uh, uh, it's starting because there's some good things there that I should be looking at. Okay, so I'm sure you're familiar with this name, but they they uh, just had a series on him, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes, I knew about him before Netflix. Netflix. Exactly. But he, he just got reignited into uh, the American psyche, you know, with this Netflix series that was extremely graphic and detailed about the crimes he committed. A uh, couple of questions for you. Number one, how long does it take after death for the body to start decomposing? Because he not only uh, killed in eight his victims, but he also had sex with the deceased. Uh, is it, how, how is that even possible to, to penetrate or have sex with, with, a, with a body that no longer has blood moving through the veins? Well, uh, because uh, the, the body is pliable, uh, the, 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 usually the sexual activity has to do with uh, the muscles. Uh, we've had, we've had not we have, but I, I've read of uh, uh, funeral directors and embalmers who have been yep. caught. Uh, I've having, heard that as well. Having sex uh, and uh, the, the the anus, the anus and the vagina and the mouth can be penetrated uh, by a penis, for example, or, or sexually uh, after death. Now, rigor mortis sets in after a few hours so that one can't open the mouth for about uh, 12 or 15 hours, but then it goes away. Uh, and the, the, the dead body is then as, as pliable as, uh, and looks as, at, until it's embalmed, it looks uh, the same as a freshly dead person. And that's important because when people are found dead at home, and people are found dead at home, uh, a dead person, freshly dead person, in the past 12 hours, 12, 24 hours, looks like he or she may be sleeping. So it's necessary for a person to come and sort of shake the shoulder and say, are you wake up, are you asleep? Or uh, to, to even know the person is dead. Otherwise, the person is entirely normal. This gets important in baby deaths because there's a whole another area of people who have been wrongly convicted of child of uh, beating a baby to death, of child abuse, uh, because the caregiver, uh, when questioned by police, the police will say, uh, uh, when, did you, wh when did you last see the baby? I said, when I came in, I saw the baby in bed. Did you shake the baby? And she says, "Well, yeah, I shook the shoulder to uh, to see if the baby was alive." That's an admission that she that baby died of shaken baby syndrome. Oh. A number of uh, that's another area where people have been convicted of shaking the baby to death. That's got junk science behind it, and that uh, has uh, resulted in a lot of convictions of innocent people. Uh, so that the whole area of of forensic science is not just police encounters. So we have other areas of mistaken uh, science uh, that that uh, uh, have caused conviction of people, or with with the uh, uh, police encounters that causes the non-conviction of people. Okay. Uh, wow. Interesting stuff. It, it, it really is. Um, I had no idea that the body. Obviously, in your line of work, you know, this is normal, but I had no idea that the body is still pliable uh, after rigor mortis. That's right. The, the rigor mortis uh, will set in. And How long does rigor mortis last? The, it, it starts in about an hour or two and lasts maybe 24 hours or so. And then goes away. It, it, it gets really complete. The body gets completely rigged in about 12 hours. It lasts about 12 hours, complete rigor, and then it goes away. And the body becomes perfectly pliable. And if the body is in a, in a cold area, say in the snow, the body will look normal for months if, if in the cold or refrigeration um, because uh, the decomposition is caused by bacteria 
And if the body is kept refrigerated, like as it's done in, in autopsy areas, uh, the body stays looking normal and uh, totally pliable after the rigor goes away, rigor mortis goes away. I had no idea. I always wondered, you know, I've heard the stories of the embalmers, uh, you know, possibly uh, violating the bodies, if you will, right. after death. I, I, I just didn't think that this, obviously we know that it's possible, but I didn't understand how so. So thanks yeah. for, for bringing light to that. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.